Alright, so what's up guys? Today I want to teach you how to slow push a lane, and by doing that, it's how you cause lanes to build up and allows you to split push more effectively as you have a lane that's already pushing by itself that you don't really need to help. So the reason really for making this video is I get a lot of questions asking me, so Rumia, how do you actually push a wave? Because when I try and push a wave, I push six minions up to the tower, they die to the tower, and then it just sort of repeats itself and doesn't actually end up pushing anywhere. Now the answer to this is that it's a very similar mechanic to lane freezing, which I made a video on a while ago. And really all you have to do is leave three creeps alive, and most of this should be ranged creeps as they do more damage and don't have to sort of walk around losing damage as they always shoot things that are in range of them. So you notice there, I left a catapult and two ranged minions alive. Now, obviously it wasn't perfect because it was sort of an awkward wave with the catapult and it's probably not the best way to do it on as the catapult sort of also pushes the wave itself as it can like 1v4 creeps as it's like insane. But it still works out that way. And you notice here, my crew is building up slowly and it's going into the range minions. I have 6 range minions here and that will get to about 9 or 10 even before they hit the tower. Now you can pull this tactic off at any stage of the game in any lane you actually want to pull it off. And it's the most effective way to do early tower pushes, especially when you're 2v1ing and things like that. As it's a nice way of build up and you don't have to spend time hitting the tower when there's no creeps there, which obviously you really don't want to do. The main thing to really keep in mind is as long as you've always got more range minions than they have range minions, and that your melee creeps are dying, the lane will always push slowly, which is exactly what you want. As fast pushing lanes honestly really doesn't achieve a lot a lot of the time. As yeah, okay, you push minions up to a creep wave, but then they just sort of even out because it ends up in a 6v7 or a 6v6 or a 6v5, which doesn't really reward either lane because it just sort of stays there and does nothing. So here it's taken about a minute and a half to sort of push into the tower. And this is a great time as a minute and a half allows you to sort of go into another lane, start it pushing and get a siege on a tower that makes them have to 5v5 you, while you have another lane pushing that can easily get a tower by itself, as we'll see in a minute. So this actually worked out quite nicely as my catapult arrived just as I was getting to the tower. And I have about 12 range creeps, but I don't really want to count them, but I'm pretty sure it's about 12. Which is honestly an insane number of range creeps to have as they do massive damage and as they're ranged obviously they just kill everything. Um, the wave pushes into the tower and this wave at about, I think it's about 6 minutes into the game here, is enough to just sort of half HP a T2 tower, which is honestly a ridiculous amount of damage. Now obviously... This isn't going to happen very often that you get a wave at 6 minutes that's doing this because people are on the map. But um, if you can get this working into your favour when you're doing 2v1 lanes, because if you're hitting towers and you're not hitting crew waves, then this will push even more effectively obviously because you're there to sort of help it rather than just let it do its own thing. So thanks for watching this video and hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something. I'll be making a lot more videos in the future as I've got a lot more time nowadays. So if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Rumia, even though I don't really use it that much, I'm going to try and use it a bit more. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.